such a joy, of course, to be back on the ship exploring New Horizons along with the Oroville. Kelly and Claire and Tala have become a great group of friends over the years. How does that dynamic continue in season three? We drink a lot. Season oh, yeah. three. <laughs> Good time to day drink. Scenes. We have so much fun because the three of us love each other so much in real life as well, which I think, you know, comes through. Um, but no, it just, it keeps evolving. It keeps evolving. And some of the, you know, relationships, they kind of switch spots, you know what I mean? Where, where, um, Claire was more of the, uh, maternal figure with Mm. Kelly when it came to her relationship is now the tables have turned where Kelly is a little bit more of the nurturer in that situation and helps her with her Isaac situation. Well, everybody needs emotional help and someone to lean on in their lives um and and you really and i think it's it's for the first time really said that we're best friends i think there's um an episode where we really talk about the fact that we are genuinely best friends but we knew that we knew that (laughs) we knew that the audience always wanted that in season two and when we we noticed there was kind of a group of friends starting to form everyone just fell in love with the idea of it is you know, the, the the friends getting together and talking about their lives and sometimes going out into space and kicking some booty. That's got to happen in there, too. Uh, Adrian, in Mortality Paradox, episode three, uh, Kelly gets a this is all for later, by the way. I won't be putting this out <laughs> until the episode comes out. Kelly gets a visit from Denom, played by Liz Gillies from the multiphasic planet in Mad Idolatry. That's a planet that I personally absolutely love the idea of what does it mean to kelly to get an update from that world kelly used to be their god and now they are the ones who actually are gods Mm. well i think that you i mean you definitely see kelly she wears everything on her face and i i think that she still has so much guilt for the impact that she had on on that planet um the mistake that she made And even though, you know, later in season two, you find out that they've evolved, they've evolved past, you know, where we're at um, and it didn't matter. But even I think just them bringing it up is still a a deep seated um, frustration for her because she's actually, I think she's a bit of a perfectionist and, you know, she could have completely demolished an entire society. Yeah. Um, But at the same time, I mean, they just keep evolving don't we all hopefully fingers crossed i know uh, speaking of of uh, bringing things back we get back to the relationship between isaac and claire so penny it's safe to say that claire is still on isaac's side and is working on a path uh to being able to forgive him for last season's betrayal Uh, The Orville has many lessons to teach us about ourselves. That's one of the things that makes it an incredible series. How important do you think it is, Penny, for people to be able to learn how to forgive? Oh, it's it's much bigger than that, um, because what what we use in the first episode is that it's through the eyes of children, too. Mm -hmm. And how much hurt that betrayal can cause a child. It can mar you for for life if you don't step in there and allow them to act it out or talk it over or something. And I think that is huge. Um, And I think the fans are going to enjoy that aspect of it because a lot of times you can watch that and go, why would they let him back in? Well, why do you let anybody back in? You let them back in because you had a place where there was truth and there was trust. And you want to know why, how did it steer from that? And so that's an opportunity to showcase that and for people to be able to look, you know, look inside themselves, you know, people that they haven't forgiven and see if it's worth it. What's, did you have something that was very real and, and worth fighting for? And it also says something to be giving Isaac the opportunity to redeem himself. Absolutely. And um, so it was such a sad episode, but such a wonderful, hopeful episode as well. Just like uh, um, uh, in Identity 2, when when Mm -hmm. she talked about, Claire talked about being on a path to forgiveness and it's going to just take time. Uh, and we know season three of the Orville takes some time. <laughs> it took some oh, time. Yeah, to like, like three years. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Adrian, in the season three trailer, Kelly and Ed are talking about it being a good day, country western day. Um, but I feel Kelly is just right on the verge of telling Ed something like, I'm glad you had a good day, but we got work to do. Uh, how important is it to Kelly to keep Ed grounded in New Horizons? I think that it is just a thing, like it's a tick. She has, she doesn't know how to not keep him grounded. And I think that's become the real fun basis for their relationship, ultimately being like, calm down, you're being an idiot. This is what you gotta do. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> well, I always felt Kelly is the level-headed one uh, yes. uh, in the in that universe to just keep us all grounded uh, along the, the journey. Cause we can get, you know, we can, as a fandom, we can get lost in all the pew pews and explosions yes. and fun things going on but sometimes we're like hey there's actual real stuff going on here as well yes she's definitely the straight man she's the serious one um and which can sometimes be hard to play but because she's so well written it's it's been really fun and a joy and i love the dynamic between the two because some of those scenes between them are just hilarious absolutely very hilarious (laughs) well before i get wrapped up here i would i want to ask the both of you why should orvillians uh, uh, get out there and watch New Horizons. Why should they watch it? If they like the last two seasons, they are going to love this season. Every episode is a mini movie and it's a standalone and it's fun and huge. And Penny has something to add to that. I completely cut her off. I just want to add this to it because a lot of them are speaking of the fact that we're now on a streaming service and that's very difficult for them. And I had an issue with that too, but I'm going to tell you honestly, Get Hulu because you are not getting episodic Orville. You are getting at least 10 movies that you are going to enjoy over and over again because they are standalone as well, but they are fabulous. I get it now. And I love me some Hulu now. (laughs) (laughs) And a lot of times in these streaming services is the only way to get stories like this. Yeah, it's the only way, the only way to be able to invest in um, production and in the the length of these particular um, stories. You, you can't do it again. You cannot do it any other way. Is there any uh, anything you could give us for um, the hope you have for your characters uh, going forward in this universe? I, I, I hope to deposit in young uh, girls or, or young men the, the fact that stand, stand on your principles and be who you are and you will eventually get what you deserve. How would you like, uh, what would you like Kelly to teach uh, fans of this universe, Adrian? I mean, I, I don't want to say same, but I, I love what Penny said. And I definitely think that playing a strong female character right now is very important. And I hope that young people, yes, boys, girls, both um, have take away from this something that they can be anything they want to be and they can do it well and they can be loved and, you know, they can love themselves. So great answers. All, and so much not just surface level answers this or the orville universe is deep so i'm so glad to hear these deep responses to these questions i think the audience just deserves that level of uh, uh emotional commitment to the, to this series i know i'm emotionally committed and as a fan it's a huge step up i mean they are many movies just like you guys said um i th- think i have to wrap up here but if, but if not, we could just keep saying, hey, how's it going? I want to thank you guys no, for showing I, up to the series. To no, the show. You, you, you just said something. I think that um, everyone deserves right now with the state of just the world to be able to invest in something that means something. That's just not, you know, some commercialized television, some frivolous nothing. But this is truly something that um, is thought provoking and perhaps it will, it will bring about change. It'll start with the human beings and then eventually we can make some changes to make it a better future for us. And it gives us all hope. Well, thank you both for being here and it is time for me to wrap up. <laughs>